In this video, we're going to preview the Novak Djokovic Yensung Liu quarterfinal match at Wimbledon. Now, before we do that, I want to go back and talk about Liu versus Roddick because I think that match, we're going to see some of the same tactics out of Liu in this quarterfinal match. And Liu obviously played great in that match. We're going to put A Rod up here, Roddick up here for the moment. And what Liu did, well, he was able to move the ball around the court and keep Roddick off balance, but he did so in a really high percentage manner. His shot selection was great. His execution was great. And what ended up happening was you had Roddick up here getting pushed a little bit behind the baseline, and Lou was moving the ball. He was hitting his spots well, moving the ball around the court, and Roddick was, ever, was never able to get himself set and to transition off of defense. He was never able to move forward and take control of the point and that was because Lou, like I said before, moving the ball around really well, was getting Roddick off the court. I thought Lou's backhand in particular, circles the player, stick is the side they're hitting on. So righty, the backhand was really working for him. And you know, Roddick's not gonna be able to do too much off of his backhand side. It's certainly not a weapon. It kind of keeps him in the point until he can try and take control with the forehand. Lou just never gave him any looks and he played great. And, you know, keep in mind, Roddick, absent uh, his return game, which was pretty, you know, bad, for lack of a better term, played really well. I mean, the guy didn't get broken until the last game of the match. Only two break points faced. Obviously, Lou converted the last one. So Lou did a nice job of sort of weathering that storm, not getting a lot of looks. He played well in the big moments, kept his nerve. So it was an impressive performance. Now, against Djokovic... I don't see this tactic working. I don't see it being effective because Djokovic is better off the ground than Roddick is. So Djokovic is not going to get stuck behind the baseline and Lou is not going to be able to prevent him from transitioning forward. Now, if we go back to, let me just say, go back, transitioning forward and going on to offense. So in other words, Novak is going to be able to get out of dis defensive situations and he's going to be able to turn neutral situations into offensive opportunities. And let's go back to what I was saying before about Roddick's backhand. So we would have this backhand exchange between Lou and Roddick. And because Roddick's backhand isn't a weapon, he wasn't able to, you know, once you would establish this backhand rally, Roddick was really at a disadvantage. Well, Novak's backhand is fantastic. And what Novak does particularly well is he changes the direction of the ball well. He can take an outside ground stroke. If you've watched our strategy mini-series on FYB, we'll hyperlink it below in the description. But if you've watched our strategy mini-series, you know that a ball moving like this to the backhand is going to be an outside backhand, harder to control. So you don't typically want to change direction on balls like this. Well, Novak, he's able to do that. So he can pop this ball down the line into the open court when he gets a good opportunity, something Roddick simply isn't able to do. And by, able, by being able to change direction like this, he is going to be able to take the initiative and he is going to be able to take it to Lou in a way that Roddick couldn't. So, you know, again, Roddick, when he's back here, then his play is relatively predictable. You're going to get a lot of cross-court balls, might get some short, the down the line for an offensive shot, not going to happen too often. But with Novak, who moves the ball around so well, and who can change direction on that backhand, he's going to be able to hit this shot, and it's going to make life very difficult for Lou. Uh, certainly, Novak's placement is going to be much less predictable than somebody like Roddick. So I don't, you know, Lou is, is, is certainly playing, at least against Roddick, playing extremely well, and this is, uh, this is a fantastic result for him. But I think the, uh, I think the run ends right now, and I'm going to go with Djokovic in... Uh, in four sets. You know, if you want to take, if you want to take another sort of important uh, piece and look at it, it's the uh, it's the return of serve. Djokovic's serve is way better than Roddick's. I mean, Roddick said in his post game press conference, you know, it was the return to serve that did me in. Uh, you know, normally you tell a guy he's going to play a five set match, he's or not even a five set match. You say to a, you say to a pro, you're only going to get broken once. Well, he's going to say I'm going to win that match, and it was the return that really let that let uh, Roddick down. That's not going to happen with Djokovic. Djokovic is going to be 
getting a lot more balls in play. He's going to make Lou work for a lot more service points. And I think the combination of that fact and, again, what we've talked about before, how Djokovic is going to be able to be much more aggressive off the ground and isn't going to be stuck sort of on defense on his heels as much. I think those two factors uh, give Novak the clear advantage in this match. So like I said before, I think we're going to get a, a four-set victory out of, uh, out of Novak, although I wouldn't be surprised if, if Novak won in straight sets. To round out this video, I want to let you know about our live webcast, our live broadcast during the men's Wimbledon final. So on Sunday, 4th of July, whenever the match is going on, we'll just log on to our website, fuzzyyellowballs.com, and we are going to be there. It's going to be me and Ian Westerman of EssentialTennis.com. We did one of these for the finals of the Aussie Open and, more recently, the French Open. We had a great time. Thousands of people tuned in. We gave away a lot of free, cool prizes. So please join us if you are free, if you're watching the match, and it's going to be a great time. So I look forward to seeing you on Sunday.